No, boys. Chevy. Diesel. Another morning is here. Nice, fresh. It's not even that cold. Maybe it's because I'm wearing this hat. But it's fresh. Nothing better in the morning. Like first thing in the morning, right when you wake up, right when your brain's still not firing on all cylinders, sort of like right now. Nothing's better at that time of day than nice fresh air in your lungs. Oh yeah, that's good. So these are all the supplements that the dogs take. Chevy gets four of these per day for his stomach, to settle his stomach down a little bit. Probiotics and enzymes. The old guys get these Erythrosooth Golds. It's for their uh, Ducoposmine, MSM, and Chondrol, Tin, Hydrolin. It's sort of like uh, for their arthritis. It makes their bones and joints move a little bit better. But Diesel doesn't like the taste of those, so he doesn't eat those. So he gets pure hemp and salmon oil. And then Wiener gets these pills uh, twice a day with his food. They're for his heart. They're, uh, what are they called here? They're called Vetmedin. Vet Medin for enlarged hearts. So this is our uh, our stash of supplements that go to our our dogs. What? When we spoil our dogs. And this is the food that we feed our small dogs. Uh, performing for Performatrin Ultra. Uh, it's grain free senior recipe. Small bite. That goes to the little guys. And this is what the big guys eat. Right, Hazel? Chevy fault. It's because of this guy. It's grain-free, uh, pasture-raised beef sweet potato formula for dogs. Uh, it's got no chicken in it. It's got no uh, gluten in it, I think. It's got no grains in it. It's practically got nothing but just straight nutrients, I guess, for... <laughs> It's actually not the, it's not the most expensive dog food, but it's also not the cheapest by any means. Uh, it's made in the USA, and it's the only food that we've been able to find that won't upset this guy's stomach for days. So, we're sticking with it. It's got a lot of allergies. Took a long time to figure those out. Alright, you guys hungry? You hungry? You hungry? No? No one's hungry? You guys hungry? No one's hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Diesel's food gets soaked. Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. So it's just a little bit soupy. A little bit more. Not too much. And he gets his little hard pill. And his is soupy too. Diesel gets his pure hemp and salmon oil. One squirt in the morning, I think. Diesel, you're such a stoner. One squirt in the morning, eh? Uh, I usually give two per, but it doesn't really oh, matter. Yeah. Oh, it's the good stuff. Good stuff, okay. Chevy gets just a regular salmon oil. You get a little bit too, a little bit too. This one's almost empty. Oh right. my. And then these we give to them after. All right. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Hey! Wiener, you want it? You gonna dance? Dance a little bit more. Keep dancing. Dance. Dance. Go in a circle. You want it? You want it? Go in a circle. There you go. Oh, oh, double. Wow. There you go, bud. There's your soup. Morning soups. Singing. Absolutely. Diesel, you are definitely part husky. You yeah, scream a little, like a husky. Got a little bit of a howl in there, eh? Been practicing. Practicing my vocals. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a band. <laughs> Good boy, Chevy. You training him? I'm trying. He's hopeless. Where's my hat? How's my hair? 
I usually hide my hair. Where's my hat? There you are. We need to organize that yet. Yeah. My fault. Come on, guys. We're almost done the video, okay? Got some work to do over there. So, how are you doing today? Heavy. 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 Got anything to say to the people? You're in the spotlight now, man. <laughs> say it now. Say it or forever hold your peace. No pressure, man. No pressure. Nothing? Maybe later? <laughs> Britt just uh, went to work. It's her last day before the lockdown and then she has four weeks off of work. Uh, they're paying her for the rest of this week for her scheduled shifts and scheduled hours. So that's really nice that they, her company decided to do that for her. That, that helps out a lot. But other than that, I guess we're just sitting twiddling thumbs for a few weeks. I'm debating whether or not I should uh, stay here with her uh, because she's all by herself here. And uh, I think the silence can get pretty deafening after a while. I don't know. And uh, if we're in this critical of a lockdown, I don't know if I really want to uh, head out there. I mean, like I said, I'm not too worried about myself. I'm a, I'm pretty much isolated when I'm at work. It's just, you know, I do worry about bringing stuff home, you know? Going out there because the most I really do is I go get my coffees, right? And I go into receivers, but that's usually pretty safe. You know, you have the mask on, I sanitize my hands all the time. Whenever I get back in the truck, as soon as I, before I even touch the, the steering wheel, if I can, just sanitize that and then uh, disinfect my truck. So I, I do my absolute best that when I'm traveling out there, I'm not, you know, being irresponsible, picking something up, bringing it home to my family. And then, you know, you guys know how that goes. Uh, probably a lot of you know personally how that goes. You guys probably know pers uh, someone personally by now who's gotten sick. I don't think I know anyone personally right now, but we know people that know people. It's getting closer and closer uh, to the family. It hasn't hit any of us uh, too close yet, but it, it's it's a crazy world we live in, and I don't really want to talk about it right now. You guys, you guys know what's going on, uh, but I'm I'm debating whether or not I should uh, I should maybe stay with her a little longer as well. It's water day. Why am I in slippers? It's gonna walk into the store with those. Now that's a shoehorn. You thought the one I had in the truck was fancy. This, well, this is where it's at. Save those shoes and I'm, I don't wanna tie them every time. I think that's my biggest problem. I don't wanna tie my shoes every single time so I just uh, slip them on in like that. Much better, much better, much better. All right, let's go. We're running out of water. We have tap water, but we spoil ourselves with bottled water anyway. You never know what they put in the water. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, we just like to have bottled water for ourselves and uh, we always gotta go and refill them every now and then and figure we may as well now because with these lockdowns coming in tomorrow, uh, when you're watching this, they're already in effect. I don't know what's all gonna be open, what we're gonna be able to get, so. Do what we can, I guess. You know what's ridiculous though, is people panic buying. The lines at Costco, I saw some pictures and videos of the lineups at Costco and stuff yesterday and Walmart. People are lined up around the block. Like if people realize these stores will still be open in the lockdown, right? They'll, they'll still be open. You can still go shopping. Have we learned nothing? <laughs> so everybody's panic buying, everything's flying off the shelves. There was still toilet paper yesterday when we were in the in Superstore. But I guarantee that's gonna be gone. I bet you they have pallets and truckloads just waiting in the back, just waiting for everyone to start buying the toilet paper. Nice. Man, why would you void all your warranty though on a brand new truck lifting it up like that? No warranty. Thanks. Oh, and the cops are here. Uh-oh. 
Got the Royal Canadian Mounties. What are we going on there? Searching that van. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But they got all kinds of travel bags. I bet you they broke the travel restrictions or something. I don't know. I, I can only guess. They got in trouble for something. They're all out of water. Getting an order in tomorrow, so I guess we're coming out to pick up water tomorrow. Okay. All right. I don't know what they're doing there. That officer is still dealing with them. They don't look very happy. And I, I realize this mount has been rattling a little bit. Uh, it, I've got an older or a, a newer mount with an older clip that goes into it and they don't quite fit together perfectly. So uh, it rattles. My apologies. I'll try to remember uh, to use my other mount here. But when I'm sitting still, I don't think it, it rattles. So I think we're okay there. Guess we'll go back home. Busy place right now though. Yikes. Oh, you got another Mountie coming over here now. You got two. I wonder what happened there. Oh, the other Mountie was just doing a U-turn, okay. Oh, that's a curb. All right, I totally just nailed that curb right in front of the cop. Okay, I'm just gonna casually do a U-turn like nothing happened, okay? We're just gonna go this way. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that was embarrassing. Somebody's practicing their parallel parking. Should we quickly go show them how it's done? <laughs> I think he's going for his driver's test. I hope he passes. That's such an exciting day. I remember when I went to go get my driver's license when I was 16, my like actual license. Oh, biggest day of my life. Yeah, I was so happy. Oh, it's never too late for a coffee. It's not Timmy's, but what you doing? Uh, just checking. coffee. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, more just for adding me. Adding up what my paycheck's gonna be. Oh, that's right. I was telling them before. Uh, they're at least paying you out for the rest of the week. Yeah. So that's very nice of them. They didn't. I don't think they had to do that, right? But they chose to. I mean, as far as I know, they didn't have to. But I work for a pretty excellent company, so. No complaints here, that's for sure. Aside from, I wanna be at work because I love my job and I'm really sad that they're shut down now for four weeks, but as long as I make it through the code red, I'll be back at it soon. Mm-hmm, and hopefully with this, this whole uh, four week lockdown thing, hopefully we will have our numbers down in Manitoba to the point where they won't bother us for Christmas. I saw comments already saying, oh, what are you gonna do if they shut down Christmas? You don't want to. in the streets? <laughs> no, we don't do that. With an elf costume on? I will buy an elf costume off Amazon and I will. Skip merrily down the I will sidewalks. skip merrily down Main Street in protest. Yeah, I would never pr protest angrily. Yeah, I would just yeah. Christmas cheer. I get the feeling, though. I get the feeling. But with everything going on, we sort of got to clarify it now. Oh, right, 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 right. We <laughs> We're not bad people. We wouldn't freak out if they canceled, or if they wouldn't cancel Christmas. That's the thing, you can't cancel Christmas. There's no one that can cancel it. But they could legally ban us from having a family gathering in the event of a pandemic like this. They do have the legal right under the Constitution in Canada to actually do this in the event of a global pandemic. So there's nothing we can really do about it. They can't cancel Christmas though. But they also can't stop me from skipping merrily down Main Street in an elf costume. Darn tootin'. Not gonna take Christmas away from me. So I have a question for you guys. We have our stove and oven pulled away from here, obviously, because I've unplugged it. And Britt has tried this multiple times already, but we're having a glitch in here that uh, isn't getting fixed. I'm trying it one more time to unplug it, but this door right now is locked. 
Sometimes it won't unlock, sometimes it won't lock, but it keeps flashing on here that it's locked and making all kinds of weird noises. One second, I'm hoping that now that I have threatened it with the wisdom of my YouTube audience, it will work perfectly. One second, I'm gonna plug it back in. Oh, we need to really fix this. I don't know why that isn't secured properly. I'm gonna have to fix that right away. <sighs> Obviously, we didn't see that when we bought the house because it was behind the stove. All right, okay, still doing it. Look, it flashes on here locked. See that? And there's no way to get it to stop. It's locked me out here again, so I'm gonna push this back into place makes all kinds of weird noises and clicking noises. How do we make it stop? Do any of you know what we should do? I fixed it once already, just by jiggling, once this thing does open, jiggling the actual lever in there. I'm guessing it might, oh, oh, I'm guessing it might be jammed. See, I just jiggled this last time and suddenly it worked just fine, but now, I do that and it's not doing nothing. Are any of you appliance geniuses? Appliance? Appliance. Appliance? Appliance <laughs> geniuses? Calling on all geniuses in my audience. What do I do? How do I fix this? It just says locked. And you hear it ticking? Yeah. And it makes weird noises and it won't stop. So. I'll be down in the comment section if any of you know what you're talking about. Please, what do we do? How do we reset this thing? It doesn't work to unplug it and plug it back in. I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. For now. Hey, I fixed it twice now. I know, I'm just saying, that thing is cursed. I don't know what it, I figured out what it's doing. The door lock latch is engaging and disengaging. So it's locking, unlocking, locking, unlocking, and up here, like you saw, it was flashing locked. So what I did was I opened up the oven door, held in the little button there that makes it think that the door is closed, and I watched the, the lock lever go back and forth. And on its way back, I put some pressure on it, pulled it back to the end, and then it clicked off. And then it fixed. It was fixed. It's almost like there's a sensor in there, and it's not quite coming back. For I, I thought I tried that once already, though, and it worked this time. So I fixed it twice now. I don't know what I did. Are any of you experts out there still able to explain this situation? Have you heard of this happening before? It's not throwing any codes. Yeah, it's not throwing any codes, but it won't let us use the oven at all when it's flashing locked. Like it, it, it's, it jams it all up. You can use the stove top, but you can't use, actually I didn't test the stove top. Does, it, does the stove work, like the, uh, the top? Mm -hmm. Stove works, so you just can't use the oven. I keep getting them mixed up calling that the stove that's the oven so you can't use the oven while it's in its locked mode but whatever okay well if you guys can help that's great if not thanks for listening to me ramble and uh i fixed it for the record say it you fixed it for now thanks hon fix it man it's not you i don't trust it's it's the <laughs> oven yeah yep well i should probably end this video here now though uh we got it figured out so tomorrow we're going to be uh what's the plan for tomorrow it's your first it's first day of actual lockdown tomorrow i don't know wallow in self-pity wallow in self-pity not really sure hey, we'll take the boys for a walk we're allowed to go for walks oh, still heck yeah Let's do that. Yeah, we're allowed to go for a walk. We'll go for a walk around, around here. We'll figure it out. I'll uh, still have a video up for you. So tune in tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. We make new videos every day. I hope you guys are all doing well. We'll see you tomorrow.